cooling towers. They come in many shapes and sizes, but one thing they all have in common. Given enough time, they will all leak. Leaking can do extensive and expensive damage to the building roof and supporting I-beams. Just the cost of water and treatment chemicals can be enormous. Rust and corrosion will eventually take its toll on the tower. Holes develop and hot water distribution pans rot away. Coatings applied over improperly prepped metal surfaces do more harm than good. This hot water pan rotted away when the water got between the coating and the metal pan. This hot water distribution pan appears to be beyond repair. This inlet pipe has rusted free of the supporting panel and the hot water distribution baffles have nearly rusted away. A huge hole has rusted through the back wall of this hot water distribution pan. This media is completely clogged with scale buildup. The first step is to remove and discard the old media. It is typically full of hard scale buildup that reduces the tower's performance and provides a breeding ground for bacterial growth, sometimes harboring the deadly Legionella bacteria that can lead to a host of health issues. The cost to repair problems like these used to mean you had to replace the tower. Southeastern industrial linings can return them to 100% functionality and prevent the problems from reoccurring again. The rusted out areas are cut out using grinders and plasma cutters. This provides a clean edge on the metal to perform the repairs. We use the EcoQuip Vapor Blaster to remove all rust and corrosion. This machine uses a 375 CFM air compressor along with water and an abrasive to clean the metal parts and provide a profile on the blasted surfaces for the lining system to adhere to. Here's a panel that has been prepped and is ready to be repaired. Sheet metal is screwed and welded into the tower to repair any holes. We use a two-step priming system that provides an incredible bond between the lining and the metal. This locally fabricated hot water distribution pan was welded in and has been primed. It is ready for the polyurea lining system. Polyurea is an industrial lining system. It sets in about 10 seconds. Polyurea is applied at 165 degrees and goes on at 20 to 30 mils per pass. Polyurea is used in many industrial lining applications. It has around 2,000 PSI tensile strength and is typically applied at around 60 mils thick. A Teflon paddle can be used for a few seconds after application to smooth the polyurea. Since the entire interior of the tower is lined creating a monolithic lining, seams are not an issue. As you can see, the polyurea creates a thick waterproof lining system. Here are some shots of the completed lining system. Panels that are repaired are then coated with polyurea so there are no seams to leak on the final product. The media is replaced using modular fill packs. They are much easier to install and to remove if the need ever arises. The tower is now being filled with water. You can see the residual rust that was in the piping system. Since polyurea provides a rust-proof interior surface, your strainers and filters will stay much cleaner and rust-free. The lining system also makes cleaning the tower exponentially easier. Give us a call at Southeastern Industrial Linings.